Last October, I had my birthday, and my gift to myself is a travel to Waikiki. I have been wanting to go back to Waikiki since I first visited the island. I really wanted to stay there for a few days just to know how it feels like living on an island. So here's what happened to Waikiki. Enjoy! Before going there, we have searched a lot of things about what's best to do on the island. But we cannot find what exactly we were looking for, so we just winged it. My partner and I planned to take a bus during our whole stay in Waikiki. But upon arrival, we decided to just hire a, a car. But we failed because all of the cars were booked. So we just decided to book a car on the next day. Three seven two is one of the rest holes recommended by our Airbnb hosts. In fact, it is their favorite restaurant in the island. So it was on top of our list because we were so excited to taste their food. But of course, we did not expect too high on this one to avoid disappointment. But after eating here, we think we agree with them. We chose fish of the day and steak, which I completely forgot what it's specifically called. And we enjoyed every bite of it. The staff were so friendly and I remember chit-chatting with her while ordering. The location is great. I mean, it's a waterfront restaurant. What more could you ask for? The Oyster Inn is a beachside bistro owned by Chef Josh Emmett, a celebrity chef. It is located in the heart of Onirua. I just googled that by the way. For me, this kind of place is for bougie people. It's because of the vibe and maybe because it is owned by a celebrity chef. 
staff were so friendly and accommodating. The food, I must say, it is good, but I think I had just selected the wrong choice of food. Well, don't get me wrong, I love the food, but I was not satisfied. But overall, it was a very good experience. Our rented car. Let's go. Despite some traffic, you will arrive at 11 26 a.m. Nila season? Hindi pa siguro nila season. Hindi ko alam eh. Yung mga ano, yung mga... So, yung assistant. mga tao mo naka-offload sila ngayon? Yeah, naka-offload. Naka-offload sila ngayon. Kasi wala silang makakarbo. Okay. So, ngayon, nag, nag-ano sila doon? Titira doon. Hmm. Yung it's another, ano, it's another, ano po, as pagpasok ng business dito sa vineyard kong to. Tara, punta tayo sa next vineyard. So, matamlay yung business ngayon? Matamlay siya, pero touristy. If you were planning to go for wine tasting in Waihiki, make sure to dress to impress or at least have a decent look and not be like me na parang kakagising at di na naligo. Most of the people visiting Waihiki is because of the vineyards and wine and they usually dress to 80. I think the perfect weather to visit the island is probably summer so that you can enjoy the beach and enjoy the wine on a sunny day. Um, I remember the first time I was here it was summer. It was in February and mud brick was so full of life. It was full with it was full of music and people everywhere but now it's just me. We were craving for some burgers at that time, so we chose Hiki Brewery. Again, 
people there were so accommodating and funny. Their beer was so nice. According to David, he had a one glass and he was so red after finishing that glass. And we've also met a um, Filipino chef there and he's so nice. The atmosphere is super relaxing and what I mean by relaxing is that having few drinks and chit chats with your friends or spouse you forget what time it is and of all the places we've been to this is the most affordable hands down Fenice is an Italian and Mediterranean eatery in Onorua village. I wanted to go and eat here since I first saw it last 2021, but I never got the chance until this day. Fenice has everything from breakfast to dinner. The entrance of the place greets you with pretty flowers and the inside feels so homey. There's just one thing I regret of not doing here, and that's not eating here for yesterday's dinner because that was supposed to be the plan. Well, I'm coming back next time then.